This one doesn't appear to have as much regret. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I don't think it's stronger regret. Yeah. Well, there's always a certain amount of individual variation, I suspect. Really? I am wrong. You need this in the bird world. You can't take that. I'll speak to you. Well, then there's that crazy cardinal that that guy found. I mean, talk about uniqueness. Yes, that was a cool bird. Holy cow. I guess that's close enough. Full frame? <laughs> uh, more than full frame. Yeah. I don't know, this bird must be an outlier because the winter finches really haven't shown. But well, that's a hell of a long way north they hit. We get all sorts of stuff in Chicago we never see. Nice to meet you. That's great. Do you want me to get him in there? Oh, cool. Look again, he's going to turn to us when we see the red cap. Yeah, I saw him move when I saw the red cap. Yeah, he just looked at us. Did you see the red cap, please? Yeah. Isn't that cool? And he's got a yellow bill. If you get to see it, it's a little bitty pointy yellow bill. Tiny black chin, little tiny black chin, little tiny black chin spot. She's in the same spot. Oh yeah, she's kind of up against the branch. I didn't see her. Life is right. Yeah. How you doing, Andy? Good. <laughs> So I, the mountain bluebird was back. So yeah, I saw that you'd uh, gotten it. Uh, I guess the uh, ground dove uh, hasn't been uh, seen for. A yeah, it doesn't mean it isn't there. Though. Right. Yeah, I looked at that a few times without. For spotty rump and forked tail, that's about all. Did you say she had a forked tongue? No, I said she had a forked. <laughs> no, only the people, the, there may be some forked tongues here. But no, no, no. Although there are, of course, birds with forked tongues. Some of the nectar eating species, some of the nectar eating species actually do have forked tongues. Yep, yep. They're showing a little tongue. You are so lost. <laughs> you got a 